Another thing that people get wrong is they, they stack too many supplements all at the same time and have no idea which one is working. And a lot of people don't test before they take things. They just take things willy-nilly, thinking they have problems. Just like when you're trying to diagnose disease and treat disease, you want to know what the problem is. You don't want to just think you know what the problem is. You want to definitely know what you're trying to work on and then work towards that, rather than just trying to take things because you think you need them. What I've learned over the last few years and through medical school was that there's actually a science to wellness and optimizing health, and that it's just as measurable as diseases. And in fact, you can use a lot of the same tools and techniques that you use to interrogate for disease to understand how to optimize a person's body. I've tracked my hormones over time. I've optimized my fertility, my progesterone levels. I've optimized my thyroid function. I've optimized my nutrition so that it's optimized my skin and my hair. I've tracked heart rate variability consistently and continuously for stress measurements over time. I've measured stress through urine testing. I've measured continuous glucose monitoring for the last year of my life just to optimize my blood glucose levels. And then at the end of the day, I have a reflection practice I'm trying to think about what I want to envision for sleep. I've got some lucid dreaming practices I'm working on lately. I have mindfulness practices, self-compassion practices. I have um, gratitude practices. So everyone says, Molly, what are you gonna do when you have children? And I'm like, I'm preparing for having children. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I fully intend to be a super mom. I mean, I've been pretty good at being super at everything else in my life. So maybe I'm just arrogant, but um, I also totally intend to have some help. Um. <laughs>